hard left turn here, but um, you recently surprised people when you said that you are a gun owner. And then if someone came into your that house... That's not the first time I've, I've, they I've would talked get about shot. it. That's not the first time I've talked about so it. So what kind of gun do you own, and when and why did you get it? I have a Glock, and um, I've had it for quite some time. And, um, I mean, look, Bill, my background is in law enforcement. And um, so there you go. Have you uh, ever fired it? Yes. <laughs> of course I have. <laughs> At a shooting range? Yes, of course I have. But there you go. Welcome back, guys. Man, so Mr. Bill Whitaker from 60 Minutes has saved America. When Donald Trump wins the election, I want everybody to go out and thank Mr. Bill Whitaker for saving America. Because he just, he just torpedoed Kamala's whole campaign. Just a little pushback just a little bit, and she folds. An historic flood of undocumented immigrants coming across the border the first three years of your administration. As a matter of fact, arrivals quadrupled from the last year of President Trump. Was it a mistake to loosen the immigration policies as much as you did? It's a long-standing problem, and solutions are at hand. And from day one, literally, we have been offering solutions. What I was asking was, was it a mistake to kind of allow that flood to happen in the first place? I think the policies that we have been proposing are about fixing a problem, not promoting a problem. Okay. But, but the, the numbers the, did quadruple. And the numbers your, today, because of what we have done, we have cut the flow of illegal immigration by half. Should you we have, have done cut that? the flow of fentanyl that? by half, but we need Congress to be able to act, to actually fix the problem. So Canada, she's out here, she's looking bad. And she's doing all these little stupid ass interviews, which she should have did this months ago. But now she's scrambling. It's the fourth quarter and she's, she's playing catch up. But I think it's a little bit too late because she looks desperate. She goes on a show called Call Me Daddy or Call Her Daddy, whatever. And look at this right here. She only have 200,000 views. And look at the thumbs up and thumbs down ratio here. See that? That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Now, Call Her Daddy is one of the top rated podcasts out there. I never watch the shit, but she's up there. And again, Kamala goes on and she don't, she can't go viral. She cannot go viral. Donald Trump goes on podcasts and you see 10 million views. He went to three different podcasts and hitting it off the park, 10 million, 7 million. But Kamala, she goes on to a friendly network and she's losing subscribers. Every time Kamala opens her mouth, she's losing. And I love it. And she looks in bad. She goes to friendly, friendly show called The View. And let's take a listen. If anything, would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind in terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. Yeah. So she says she can't find nothing from the top of her head to separate herself from Joe Biden. We've been trying to tell you this from the beginning. She was the border czar. Even Joe Biden said that. And as vice president, there wasn't a single thing that I did that she couldn't do. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to delegate her responsibility on everything from foreign policy to domestic policy. Now she comes on The View and she comes on and basically saying business as usual. We love Build Back Better, right? If anything... Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? Uh, there is not a thing that comes to mind in terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. Nothing has changed 
Her philosophy has not changed. Is my values have not changed. We've been saying this from the beginning, and here you go. Every time she opens her mouth, she's losing voters. She's she's making people lose subscribers. Taylor Swift endorsed her, and Taylor Swift has lost over two million subscribers. <laughs> horrible, absolutely horrible. JD Vance, help me out. So you think after all this time, all this time of thinking about how she would do things differently from Joe Biden, she would have a well-prepared answer for the interviewers on The View. Well, they ask her one thing you would do differently from Joe Biden. You know what she says? I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. <laughs> so for anybody watching at home, just ask yourself the very basic question. Kamala Harris has been in charge for four years. Are you better off than you were four years ago? We cannot let this person near the White House, guys. I don't know how many times we got to say this. She is not qualified. She's been hired just because of a color in her gender. And she's running on one single issue. Abortion. A bunch of these guys up in these state capitals are writing these decisions because they somehow have decided that they're in a better position to tell you what's in your best interest than you are to know what's in your own best interest. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. I mean, daddy gang, to put it in um, our TikTok terms, um, I have seen girls on the street walk up to men and be like, do you know where a tampon goes? Do you know how many tampons we use? Do you even know how, like, do you know what a X or Y or Z is of a part of our, and they don't know the answer. I was the first vice president or president to ever in office uh, go to a reproductive health care clinic ever really yes 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 i didn't know that but i guess that makes sense mm -hmm. to your point as if that's all people care about abortion abortion is not going to fix the economy abortion is not going to fix the running away inflation rates abortion is not going to fix the war going on with hamas and israel Abortion is not going to fix the problems with the hurricanes. None of this. That's all she has. That's all she keeps talking about. This is the same guy who said that women should be punished for having abortions. This is the same guy who uses the kind of language he does to describe women. Now, on The View, Kamala was questioning about her response with the hurricane with the governor of Florida, and she says this. Now, he said this morning, you've never called regarding any of the storms Florida has had since you've been vice president until apparently now and called it political. What's your response to that? Well, first of all, I have called and talked with, in the course of this crisis, this most recent crisis, Democrat and Republican governors. Called, taken the call, answered the call, had a conversation. So, obviously... This is not an issue that is about partisanship or politics for certain leaders, but maybe is for others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you said you call Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis said you never called. I will say this. I've had storms under both President Trump and President Biden, uh, and I've worked well with both of them. She's the first one who's trying to politicize the storm, and she's doing that just because of her campaign. She's trying to get some type of an edge. She knows she's, she's doing poorly, and so she's playing these political games. I don't have time for political games. I've got people whose lives are on the line. I've got people whose homes and their possessions are on the line, and we are focused 100% on that mission. I'm not worried about playing her political games. And so she is being selfish by trying to blunder into this when we're working just fine. And to throw some water on Kamala's hot streak, Joe Biden was doing a press conference. And he says this. The governor of Florida has been cooperative. He said he's gotten all that he needs. I talked to him again yesterday. And I and I said, whatever. You, I said, no, you're doing a great job. It's being all being done well. We thank you for it. And I literally gave my personal phone number to call. Um, so I don't know. 
there was a rough start in some places, but every governor, every governor from Florida to North Carolina has been fully cooperative and supportive and acknowledged what this team is doing. And they're doing an incredible job. But we got a lot more to do. <laughs> Mr. Trump said this earlier during the debate. Mr. Trump said that Biden does not like Kamala. And you know what? I'll give you a little secret. He hates her. He can't stand her. I think this is the third time that Biden came out. And while she's doing something like doing a press conference, Joe Biden is on the other side saying the total opposite. <laughs> I think Joe Biden is dark MAGA. What do you think? Hit that like button. I'll see you next time.